What's up guys? Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give a little short review on the uh, Triumph that I have. I've had for about a month now. It's the uh, Triumph Street Triple uh, 675. It's just a base model, it's not the R. Um, R version has a little bit of different things added to it. Um, but it's been, it's been a great bike. Um, I haven't really done any reviews on any of the bikes I've had. Um, but this is a bit different. It just, it's a very smooth, controlled motorcycle. Um, but yeah, I've got some saddlebags on it. Uh, just because I'm an old man now, I guess. I'm in my 30s, so <laughs> my friends brag on me about it. But you know what? I get tired of wearing a uh, backpack all the time, so this really helps out a lot with storage. I'll take it off every once in a while if I really want to get low. Um, so it gives that smooth acceleration. Uh, it's not as choppy, in my opinion, on corners, um, which I like, especially up with the Dragon and when I start taking this thing to the track. Um, it's a dual overhead cam. You know, it's fuel injected. Uh, it's got front, rear uh, Nissan brakes. With the Dragon, not even that long ago, so I'll probably give it a clean bath uh, later on today. Um, suspension is only set to the rear, the preload. Wet weight, I believe, is around four, 410 to 420 pounds, something like that. It's pretty light. It's not too bad. Um, it's got dual Zord exhaust, which I'll show you after I take the uh, saddlebags off. Uh, it's got this uh, little tiny windscreen. I think you can add a bigger one to it. I just haven't yet. Haven't had a chance to order one. Also, uh, you can get a belly fan, which I'm also in the market for. So if you guys know of any belly fans for sale, please let me know. Because the only ones I really see are like around $400 mark so hopefully I can find one on a, on a local basis um, you can also get clip-ons for the bike um, which I've heard back and forth opinions on where, where it's mostly cosmetic based aesthetics if you want to get clip-ons really for the ergonomics it's just better to uh, leave these wide handlebars, handlebars on um, but they're pretty comfortable I've had an SC1000 so it's kind of comparable uh, quick shifter does not have it for the base model. It does come on the R model um, So I'm debating on buying one or not. I just I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very expensive So we'll just see how my uh, my wallet does here in the next couple weeks um, But let me uh, let me take the um, saddlebags off so I give you guys a better view Of how the bike looks without them on So here it is uh, without the saddlebags on It's a bit more sleeker not as fat on the end, big old booty. <laughs> I love dual exhaust, I'm a big fan. Um, especially on the undertail, instead of having it on the side. Um, also, I've got a uh, RAM mount, so I can put my phone. I've got a uh, USB charger right here, so I can plug right in. Uh, came like that um, when I got the bike. Um, but it's pretty easy. The wiring just goes straight down under the tank and then uh, under the seat. Uh, to get the seat off, it's pretty simple. Key placement is right there. Just stick it in, pops right out. Um, compartment wise, uh, not too much room. I can't even fit a water bottle in here, uh, but I've had way worse. So I guess if you want to stick a rag or just little things in here, you can. Maybe a little bit of tools. Uh, let me start it up for you guys. It's got LED um, headlights. These are aftermarket. It's also got some aftermarket um, mirrors, Rizoma. I heard these are actually quite pricey. They came with the bike as well. You gotta love that noise, that sound. Three cylinder. Got a nice little purr. Still 
still kind of cold. I'm not going to go crazy with the RPMs. But yeah, that's my basic review of the bike. Uh, I'm in love with it. Usually sell and trade a lot, but I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. Maybe grab a second bike. Probably gonna get another Triumph. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, uh, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Thank you.